Hi everybody, it's Dave from Doctors of Running and today we're going to be doing a fun video looking at a very lightweight shoe. We're talking under 5 ounces. This is the Saucony Sinister. It is a brand new racing flat from the company. It uses a power run PB midsole. It uses a full contact outsole. The shoe's got a spike-like fit. This thing is very light, quick, snappy. There's no plate, so it's actually got a little bit of flexibility to it. So it's kind of like the racing flats of the old days but we're applying some new age uh, components into it. So looking at specifications, we've got 24.9 millimeters of stack in the heel, 18.9 millimeters of stack in the forefoot, so that gives us a six millimeter drop, 4.9 ounces, men's size nine. This shoe has the name of Sinister. I think it's a pretty appropriate name. This is a very fun shoe to run in. It's low to the ground. It's got a very natural feeling transition point to it. It's, it's a flat and there's not a huge rocker profile to it. There's a little bit of a bevel there. There's a little bit of a toe spring, but this really lets you do what you want with the shoe, and it has a very natural transitioning feel to it. Looking at the upper, the shoe has a very track spike-like upper. We have these little reinforcements on the side that integrate with the lacing system right here. And so when you tighten that thing down, this shoe really cinches down around the midfoot, to the top, all the way up until you hit that crease on the ankle there. The tongue is built in with the upper, so I wouldn't even say it's gusseted. I mean, the thing is part of the shoe. So everything's very dialed in, very locked in. Uh, fit throughout, it's like a track spike. So this thing is pretty snug throughout. So if you have issues with volume, you probably could go up a half size. I would say it's still true to size for me in my men's nine and a half, but it is a low volume track spike like design. So this thing is gonna really cinch down. When running, I've for the I've pretty much done most of my running in this shoe on the track. That's where I find this to really shine as far as a workout companion and or racing shoe. Um, you can certainly take it on the road. Um, there's good enough traction to justify even dirt cross-country type courses. Uh, but for me, I've primarily done uh, track workouts in it. I've run pretty much everything from about 65 seconds on the 400 upwards of full mile. Uh, actually, there was a full 3K at um, 450-ish per mile. So that would have been... 74s or 73s um, so there's been a couple longer sessions each session I've done has had about seven eight miles of volume in each workout we've done three of those now varying paces different types of work I'll say that this shoe does does a little bit of everything well and so I think you could totally justify racing on the track with this in a 5k 10k type situation I probably wouldn't go 1500 I'd probably wear spikes but yeah, I mean, if you really wanted to, you probably could. Uh, but looking at it, you have a full contact outsole. I'd say the traction on it is pretty good. The one thing I did notice on a wet track, it does have a little bit of a slide to it when you're going medially and laterally and coming off a turn. So I wouldn't attack those corners quite as hard as I normally would. Other than that, it's pretty darn good. The footing on it's solid. It doesn't feel too narrow in any parts. When you take a look, I mean, the outsole right here is kind of narrow, but the platform widens out more. Uh, it just feels like a track spike that's in a flat design. And so that's it's a fun shoe, and it's actually pretty forgiving for how light it is. Uh, so I don't have too much more to elaborate on that besides it's a very natural transitioning track spike-like flat. And that's exactly what you're getting. There's not really any surprises to this one. Uh, it's, I wouldn't, it's, it's almost too low to feel unstable because you're very close to the ground and the track's so responsive and quick and you're moving fast anyways. But it feels like a distance track spike. I'd probably say it feels almost most similar to something like the Adidas Avanti um, versus a Dragonfly, but you take the spike plate off and then you add a full outsole and it feels very similar to a shoe like that. Um, if I was to make a comparison there. Um, directly to a track spike. Now, not looking at a track spike, I think one shoe that parallels this very well is the Topo Cyclone 2. So this one is also a P-Bax based midsole. This one's a little bit heavier. We're looking at 6.7 ounces, 27 millimeters of stack in the heel, 22 millimeters in the forefoot, 
five millimeter drop. This one's probably leaning more on the training companion side of things. I think you could race in it, but I think if it's between these two, this one's definitely more race ready, being the Saucony Sinister. But this one also is great for long efforts. I've done everything from road tempos to track workouts, all same kinds of paces, hill repeats, things like that. So these have both become favorites of mine in the training companion space. But as far as road 5k goes, I think this is a shoe that you could totally justify racing in. And for those that are sensitive to rockers or don't like the really high stack designs, or the shoes are just too stiff from a plate standpoint and you want something more flexible but you can't find a shoe like that, the Saucony Sinister definitely fills that void. Uh, other shoes to look at in that realm are shoes like the Adidas Takumi Sen. Now that one does have the rods that go through, but they're more flexible than the Audios Pro 3 rods. So you have a little bit of flex, but it's still a stiffer shoe overall. But if you want something that's more of that natural transitioning flexible shoe, but still light and responsive, you've got that in the Saucony Sinister. So minimalists, I believe it's it should be World Athletics compliant. I believe 25 millimeters is the stack height for track races, and I think that's deliberate being 24.9. Um, but yeah, this is a track, road, race-ready racing flat. So that's the Saucony Sinister and comparison.